also guys I got a new sauce to try today we're gonna to jump right into it. it's old st. Augustine snake bite daddle pepper sauce daddle peppers is a uh, pretty like in I'd say indigenous to st. Augustine Florida I guess it came over three four hundred years ago but it was basically the only place here in the US that it's found growing uh, out in the wild but uh I have from the old St. Augustine uh, store, the company down there, they sent me uh, their dado sauce to try, so we're going to open it up. Uh, I'm going to read the ingredients real quick. It is uh, dado peppers, carrots, onions, garlic, lime juice, vinegar, salt, and spices. Seems uh, pretty straightforward. St. Augustine is just south of Jacksonville, been there quite a few times. Uh, St. Augustine's a, a cool place. I guess they said it's supposedly the the uh, oldest town in uh, in America. And uh, this is my first daddle pepper sauce I've ever tried. Cool little rattlesnake on the bottle. It's made in Florida. We're going to see what it's all about. Uh, it's got kind of like a Louisiana style thickness to it. Uh, not too thick, not too runny. Looks like it'd be good on chicken, stuff like that. It does have a little, little dripper. I'm going to take that off. I smell some vinegar. I smell a little garlic, a little onion. Uh, it does have, looks like a, you know, like an orangish, orangish color to it. I can't really show you, it's going to spill. Yeah, it's almost kind of like a Louisiana style sauce, but it's got more bite to it. Uh, I believe that's from the uh, dado. But, uh, oh man, that would work good on fried chicken. I mean, if you guys live in the South, you know about some fried chicken. And uh, this worked well. Yeah, I would say this is very similar to a Louisiana style, but it's got more kick to it. Uh, tasty vinegar, and I, you know, some people like vinegar, some people don't. I, I, I dig the, uh, the, uh, the vinaigrette taste to it. It's not overly strong, but it, it works well with the, uh, I'm over here gleeking. Um, I'm gonna take another hit of it. It works well with the, uh, the carrots and onions and garlic, and you get the back end of that too. Um, and that, th those ingredients generally work well in a hot sauce. Definitely, definitely on chicken. I mean, I would definitely use that. Uh, and it's making me want to glee. Um, that's good. It's not super hot or anything like that. Uh, there are a lot of people that's going to be able to uh, to eat this. It's got a little more kick than than your typical kind of. Cajun Louisiana style sauce, um, a little bit of mouth burn, nothing too bad. Um, I think they they were going to to try to I mean use this like an, an everyday table sauce, and I think that's that's what I would use it for an everyday table sauce to put on, you know, pretty much anything. You know, you can uh, put it in chili, you can put it on chicken, white meat. Um, you know, veggies, I mean, all kinds of things. Uh, we do some low country boil down here. You can even uh, put some of this in, in your low country boil as you're, as you're cooking it with your potato sausage and shrimp uh, and your crawfish or your blue crabs. That would work well, too. Uh, yeah, it's really a really nice flavor. I dig it. Nothing too hot. 
uh, I will say this is pretty user friendly. Um, it's, it's nice. All right, guys. Uh, I appreciate uh, those guys at Old St. Augustine for sending it. Thank you, guys. And uh, I will put a link in the description. Uh, I will have a promo code down there as well so you can guys get a, get a discount if you're interested in this. Um, this will, will go, uh, go well with a lot of things that we do here in the house. So I do appreciate it. Cool little label. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye. Take care.